Love God it. saying that's right. That wasn't for you that because there's right. something that's else right. coming yep. right. This will yep. be way better. And that is something that I have really learned and it has really, really helped me yeah. to not then get so upset when yeah. something doesn't go yeah. through. I'm like, I, I literally, I mean, I'm yeah. not saying like we're all humans, yeah. but I'm, and I'm quick to tell people, especially my, my sisters but, and my friends, but like, it's like, it's okay. And I know yes. right now it hurts, okay. but I promise you that wasn't meant for you. It just wasn't. And I, I know that I've seen it so many right. times. It doesn't mean don't work your ass off to get something, but if it doesn't come, it's because something is right behind. Mm. Or you can't handle it. Mm. at the time. You don't yeah. have the capacity yep. to handle yeah. what comes with it. Yeah. Hey you, welcome to Shades of Content, a show that teaches entrepreneurs how to effectively use content to market their business and stay content while doing it. I'm your host Patrice, a wife, a mom of three, and a 15 year public relations and marketing professional who decided to open a brick and mortar content studio four years ago. And I honestly haven't looked back since. Join me as I share my experiences and the experiences of other entrepreneurs who, like me, are navigating this maze of owning a business, running a family, and trying to stay sane and healthy while doing it. I'll tell you, it's an amazingly challenging journey, but I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. See you soon. This episode is brought to you by Black Girl Holidays the content planner and calendar that highlights black women, black girl magic 24 seven, 365. And you guys all knew for 2022, black girl holidays is not only a calendar like it was before, but it's also a full planner. Okay. Get your black girl holidays content calendar or planner today by visiting www.blackgirlholidays.com and make sure you use that shades of content coupon code so you can get a percentage off again blackgirlholidays.com or just tap the link in the show notes y'all but um i think i think you you said it right as as women we've been conditioned to to be the supportive role and to not be cocky, not cocky, because that has this negative connotation, and to not be confident, mm -hmm. and to be okay just doing the work and letting, you know, every, you know, just everything fall into mm -hmm. place. And I think I'm thankful that we're in a space now where we, we see so many images and we are women business owners who are doing all the things because it is the example, as we spoke about earlier, for our daughters. Yes. And um, I was just talking to my mom today. My mom is fire, it's petite, cute, like no one, she, no one knows her age because she just looks so good. I mean, she's, mm -hmm. she's amazing. And um, you know, we, our conversation was just, we have to aggressively find our happiness. Mm. And that can change. But you said a key word though, aggressively. aggressively. You know, don't waste time. Right. Because because you don't know when your you time don't is know. Up. You don't know how much time you have. So, no. yeah, I mean, if this pandemic hmm. haven't allowed you to really reflect mm -hmm. and speed up, mm -hmm. then I don't know what will. Mm -hmm. I have no time to argue. That's it. I have no time to waste. I have a purpose and I'm not going to to the grave with that inside of me. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. And that's for everyone. But that aggressively, like expeditiously, mm. like you have to do it now. You have to. And that's where the courage comes in yeah. because he doesn't call the qualified. He it. qualifies the cold. If you read my background, you'd be like, how are you sitting at this table? If I read yours, I would probably be like yours. How are you sitting at yeah. this table? Because you were designed, you were built to last mm. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sips. It's the sips. Um, best and worst experience as a woman entrepreneur. I'll let you go because I'm not going to steal your answer. You probably still want to yeah, say it. You say it better. I already know. Like, like, Oh, um, my worst, my worst, and this has only happened one time, okay. is that I was on the phone with a client, a male client, and I'm super professional mm -hmm. with my clients, first of all. And second of all, I have great relationships with my clients. Yeah. I have, I provide great mm -hmm. 
client uh, customer experiences, mm -hmm. client experiences. And so this was totally like, you know, kind of caught me off. But he literally told me, well, I guess we weren't agreeing on something. I don't even remember. It was years ago. He literally told me because I was a woman. He cannot talk to me. He needed to speak to my husband. So that was my worst. How did you handle that? Yeah. Girl, I don't even remember. I, well, what happened? I, I, honestly, I, I probably blacked out. As I, don't, I don't remember much. But I just remember that. And I was just like, mm. but you on the phone with me right now. Right. Not my husband. So I, I honestly, I really don't remember that what. Um, that's the only time I don't feel inferior because I'm a woman. I've never, because I come, my mom is a, is an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. She's strong. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Mexican blood is just mm -hmm. like, you're a small and mighty. Yes. Okay. I'm five foot one. And I would, yeah. you know, like I just, it's just so, so I don't, I've never been like, ah, I'm a minority or ah, yeah. I'm a woman. It for me. I mean, there's things that come with it. Right. But I'm just saying like, I've never, it's never been a, a thing for me. Yeah. But um, what I love, what, there's not one specific win, but what I what I absolutely love um, being a minority is that we stick together, especially in business. Yes. Like supporting yes. other minority businesses and especially minority like women owned and led yes. businesses. I feel like there is such a, a huge support and system. And it's gotten stronger over the years. Yes. Absolutely. With it's like the Women's that. History Month yes. and the this yes. and that, that. Yeah. Um, and so that, that's, that's what I love. Um, I, like I said, it's not one particular thing. I just feel like we're united in that and that we stick together for that. And I, and so, yeah. Um, mine have, so by trade, I'm a senior executive assistant mm. in finance. And so that's pretty old white male, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. you know, where I'm not saying, um, so, so by trade, you are serving, right? Yeah. Um, and for me, it's the domination mentality, right? And so it, it, it's so crazy because it wasn't in that field that I experienced it. It was outside of that field. So, so you're a dancer. You're the dancer. But I have a name. Right. Mm -hmm. I have a name and I'm not putting on my shoes until you give me my envelope because I'm a businesswoman mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to touch on something that may be um, politically incorrect. That's OK. You can email me if you don't like it. Right. It is in the show. Notes. <laughs> um, especially in the church. Mm -hmm. We don't want to um, pay those that you hire. Mm -hmm. And it says a workman is worthy of his hire. And so a lot of times I had to, because I wasn't as strong as I am now, because you ain't going to try to play with me now. So I had to walk away from coins because the mindset that if I don't, I'm not a Christian mm. or if I don't, I'm not professional. And so what I had to learn over time is that there is a thin line between Christianity and professionalism. Right. And so you want me to come and minister. I'm going to minister and I'm going to minister under the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to need my coins right. We're going to do this because decency and, order. and decency and in order and my garments cost my travel cost. Mm -hmm. Right. My time away from my family mm -hmm. cost mm -hmm. ministry costs. Mm -hmm. And so minds have always been in that area mm -hmm. where you are not worth what you um, deliver. And they think, oh, because it's your minister. I am. But the pastor. Shall we test this? So, so in those areas for me, that's where my biggest struggle has been. And so it's unfortunate, but I had to step out of that. Maybe it's fortunate yeah. because in, in stepping out of it, I learned, you know, this is who I am. It doesn't matter in what capacity I'm working. I'm working because I'm a study. I, I study my craft, right. right? Whether it be coaching, mm -hmm. I have to read. Mm -hmm. Whether it be dancing, I have to train. Mm -hmm. Whether it be garment preparation, I have to prepare. And so you paying for my preparation. Mm -hmm. And so I've learned in that area is a little quite different than yours, but kind of the same mm -hmm. because 
they just take advantage of, yeah. you know, you're just the dancer. That's real. I don't even think about the best and worst. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'm all like, Oh, we only did the time. worst, right? You did the best. Did we do best? Did I just did best was that we are we support each other. Yes, oh. yes. Oh, my best, best. is I learned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I learned. Um, you learn from the worst. I learned <laughs> from the worst. And now when you present in the end, I said this on my live the other day. In order for people to invest in you, you have to look like a good investment. Mm. So you change. I mean, that's yeah. my whole. That's that's my whole business. That's, that's, that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. You change. You have yeah. to show up. You have to reassess your tribe. That's right. You have to reassess those that are sowing into you, pouring mm. into you. Are they pouring negativity? Mm. Are they pouring positivity? You have to change up your photography. Yeah. Please don't do no word flyer no more. There's so <laughs> much out here. There's you have professional people that can do it for you. Or services or systems Stop that you taking pay for per month. Stop taking selfies yes. because you have camp space. You can just come right. and take your content right. photography right. here, right? right? And so reassessing, I think that has been the best for me. Like God aligning me with a great tribe yeah. and learning from the worst. Yeah, I think from I have so many different answers to this. My initial first answer, and this I think this will always be the best experience for me, which I think might be similar to you all's as well, from a coaching standpoint, okay. from a branding and helping people see themselves, mm -hmm. or just not, or just pictures. Period. I could have Real Housewives, unsung. Like I could have all those people shoot here, and it's great. But it's the mom who works a full time job and decided I'm going to do this for myself yeah. and just came here, booked it, scared out of her mind. Cause I've had those conversations. This is my first shoot and I really don't know what to do, but can we got you? Like, so they're here, they have their photographer, they've invested in themselves. They take the, they take the content and they have a website mm -hmm. and they have social like, and I'm like, yo, you did that. Mm -hmm. And you hit it, you did it here. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that just, that will always be the best experience. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many times it happens. It doesn't matter the industry. For me, that is really just what makes me so happy because through everything, I can honestly say that I've always done what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Whether people believed it, whether people said to me, you doing something else, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, yep, yep. I've always been able to just kind of do what I've wanted to do. And part of that is because I do have a husband and a support mm -hmm. system that makes it possible. Shout out right. to my parents, mm, right. my in-laws who mm -hmm. watch them kids. Mm -hmm. When, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They got like, room for, for two more. <laughs> if they didn't sit in two because they helped. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even act like it's all myself, right? right? Because yeah, there's right. a tribe right, right. that makes it happen. So that best part is just seeing, just seeing what comes from this. Um, or like if I go on a momcation, right? Momcation is a trip for just you. Mm -hmm. You don't have your kids, your spouse doesn't go, and you have at least two days full, 48 hours. Wait, is it is, do, is someone else or is it solo? It's solo. solo. Momcations have to be solo. Ooh. You've been on a mom. Never. Oh, oh my God. Go. No, 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 you can't take your sister. You no, can't. nobody. You have to just go would, by I would, yourself. Would, I would have the freaking time of my life. <laughs> okay, so can you, let's we gonna pick a date. Oh, damn it. I mean, you could, you could, I, I, I think you could, I think you don't be I think you could go with another mom, but I think y'all would have to get separate rooms. I think you have to have that Time solid, you have to. Yeah. Oh, girl. So, so in me having those momcations, which I kicked off in 2021 after the pandemic, because we were all in our house mm -hmm. for nine months with all of the kids Everybody. and everything. So I was like, yo, I gotta do this. Oh, I would get DMs like, I'm planning my first momcation. Oh, I love that. Like, so you just go out of town without, yeah, yeah, I do. It works for us. It might not work for y'all. You figure that out. I'm not trying to break on nobody's home. <laughs> However, you need some time just to think. But men do too. Yeah. Men do too. And women, we have to stop thinking that they going to cheat oh, when no, they I don't go think out that. the house. Like, but what a doing? lot of women they do. do. And they don't release them yeah. to say, you need time. You need time. Because when we're not there, they're picking up the slack. Remember that wife, that woman, that woman? Mm -hmm. I agree. My husband's great at picking up the slack. He, he is great at picking up the slack. 
Um, and yeah, no, that's great. a beautiful Shout thing. Out that's all. That's all. That's my man. That's my guy. Hey y'all, let me ask you a question. Are you a female entrepreneur who waits for the very last minute to prepare for branding photo shoots? And when I say last minute, I mean you are waiting to literally the week of to scour the internet, do Pinterest searches, or even look through your closet only to find a look that you hate how it looks on camera. If you're like me, you have been that person. But no worries, because I have a solution. Curated Styles by Adrienne is your personal brand She's the answer to all of that. She creates, she'll work with you to create a strategic look, like a brand style that really speaks to who you are as a female business owner. And I know it works because I've used her myself and I like the way I look, if I may say so myself. So if you know that you are in a place as a business owner and you wanna level up your look, you want your brand to really speak to who you are, not who you used to be, but like the way that you're going, then you need to tap the link in the show notes and schedule a free, a free 30 minute style session where you talk through kind of how you want to present yourself with Adrian. Again, the link is in the show notes. And I think at the bottom, the bottom line is like, we really need to, we got to be intentional about how we show up, how we look, how we present ourselves. And at the end of the day, when you look good, you feel good. And thank God for people like Adrian who is skilled in helping you look and feel your best. So again, if you know that you need to really figure out your, your brand style and what it is that you want your look to say, then you need to tap the link in the show notes and schedule your free style consultation with Adrian. It's going to be amazing. And the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Shout out to Howie. But I think like, so those that, that reaction that, um, just, you know what you doing this, this space helps. So those are always the best. Yeah. When I think about the worst, it's, um, it's not like not getting grants. It's not that it's just like doubt mm -hmm. and how, and when you think back on how doubt and fear has stopped you from moving forward, you know, like, even that just, you know, like, so, yeah. like, damn, if I would have did it, a year ago, but, but, guess, but ago. you know what? You couldn't have done you it a year have. ago or two years and ago. And that's what I was, yeah. That's, right. that's my biggest the thing. That I have, yes. Like when there is a yep. loss, that it's not a loss. It's Learn. God saying that's right. that wasn't for you that because there's right. something that's else right. coming yep. right. This will yep. be way better. And that is something that I have really learned and it has really, really helped me yeah. to not then get so upset when yeah. something doesn't go through. I'm like, I, I literally, I mean, I'm yeah. not saying like we're all humans, yeah. but I'm, and I'm quick to tell people, especially my, my sisters but, and my friends, but like, it's like, it's okay. And I know yes. right now it hurts, okay. but I promise you that wasn't meant for you. It just wasn't. And I, I know that I've seen it so many right. times. It doesn't mean don't work your ass off to get something, but if it doesn't come, it's because something is right behind. Mm. Or you can't handle it. Mm. at the time you don't yeah. have the capacity yep. to handle yeah. what comes with it yeah so it could right. be meant for you mm -hmm. but not right now not right yeah now. The, yeah. the, 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 the no yeah. and the yeah. not right now mm -hmm. kind of go hand in hand mm -hmm. you know what I mean? but I, but so when I, when i'm thinking i'm speaking of just actively not doing anything because you're afraid Oh yeah, oh, you know that's what I'm held saying? me back my like, whole entire life. That, that, that has held yeah. me back forever, and I think it affects women more. Yeah. Right? I, I definitely agree because I feel like men are are more confident they're built in to a, just go. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and it's mainly it because of what you think people are going to say. That's it. You got to be delivered that's from it. people. Yes. Oh my God. Because they, my pastor told Ooh. me you going they gonna talk whether you're doing good, and they gonna talk whether you're doing bad. That's true. So why are we caring about right. what they say? Right. Just do. Yeah. Just do it. That's what I that's one thing I admire. I mean not one thing, because mm -hmm. I admire many things about my husband, but one of the main differences is yeah. he don't give two shits mm. <laughs> what anyone thinks about anything that he does. I think that's a lot of people's husbands. Yeah. And what I'm like, like <laughs> Yours, us? Oh, no, yeah, because he didn't even want to come here because yeah. he didn't know what to wear. He didn't want to come because he was like, I don't have anything to wear. I'm like, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> What's the G? Right? I'm like, this is your business. You go in. Yeah, and I not overthink everything. Everything. That's a beautiful My goodness. Oh, that's, yeah. That's balanced. Oh, yeah. We are very balanced. I don't. Because we are very opposite. We both don't really care what people think. Like, I, because I think when you've gone through so much, mm. it's like, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? 
for me, you ever read the book Dare to Succeed? No. No. Phenomenal, phenomenal book. Phenomenal. I read it at the top of every year. Oh, wow. Dare to Ooh, Succeed. Oh, and you read it over. Okay. Yeah, I every year. In notes. Yeah. But it talks about um, not um, fear of failure. It talks about the fear of success. And so many times we don't think about that part. We don't think about what if it really goes well? Not what if it goes bad. Never think about that. But what if it really goes well, right? And so it's the fear of success, fear of the all the stuff that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? And that has been so real for me. Mm. It's not fear of failure because I failed so many times. Right. And I bounced back. Right. I got back yeah. up. Like my bounce back is real. Mm. You know what I mean? But what if it happens well? What if it? And yeah, and, and that is, I'm so happy you said that because that is a point, I think, for me. I went to a conference last week um, to that was in line with what is next. And, you know, Noble, I'm, and one of the first sessions was for newbies in the space and 250 people in a room, only black women. Yes. And I'm like, I get like, I see that. Like, it was like, yeah, empowering. But it was like, what am I doing here? Because then you start thinking about for, like, it's just all these. Yeah. I haven't been in that corporate space in a very long time, mm -hmm. partially because I don't like being that only person. I don't like not being around my people. Yeah. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So to be in that room. But then it it, it made me have to know I shouldn't feel like I got to have a different poise and I'm around other people. But I do because I'm representing everybody right. else. So when it was time, you know, I turned on and did what I needed to do, had my logo shirt on, was ready. Um, so then that made me think of like, OK, like you said, what happens when it happens? Mm -hmm. And so now I am starting to think about, you know, if these things blow up the way we want it to blow up, am I ready for that? Right. Because mm -hmm. that's family is my ready family for ready that? for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean for the dynamics of my relationship? Like, mm -hmm. does that mean we're le like? It's so many things that I'm just now starting to think about that are like, wow, this is this. I ain't thought about this before. So you got to change your mindset. You got to not mm. you, you, you can't say what if when it does mm. and prepare. It's Hope going to it, happen yeah. because you put in the work. Yeah. So when I so I, I present thing when I present things to my husband, I don't know if he realizes, but I present it as when this happens. I like that. Well, because yeah. it's gonna yeah. happen. It's gonna happen. I know that's. I, I do the same. Like it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm speaking about it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna like happen. It's gonna happen. But when it happens, are we? Do we have things in mm. in in line? You know, when it happens, it's not a hypothetical. It's not. It's, going to it's happen. happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said that last. That was the. Mm. the I did a um, an affirmation for the month of February. Every week, you have to say something different. And the last week, it is happening. Mm. And the more you say it, you keep going. Oh, the more I'm sorry. The more you say it, the more you'll see it happen because yeah. you're saying it. Yeah. I, so I'm. I, I love like manifesting, writing down, mm -hmm. praying on it, all that. My husband already knows. Mm -hmm. it, if I say it, it's gonna happen. There are period. Yeah. Wow, this has been just a crazy, empowering, thoughtful, insightful conversation that. We should probably have again at some yes, point. Maybe like really every quarter, right. we'll do some type of panel. Maybe we'll invite people to come and mm -hmm. chime in, um, because I just I know that having the conversations just make a difference. They do. I Absolutely. feel different how I felt when I came in here today mm -hmm. versus how I feel going home. Yeah. It just I'm I'm uh I'm excited yeah. on all levels, mm -hmm. business, yeah. mom, wife. Yeah. Like it yeah. just feels good to know that I have people that are feeling the same. Way. Yes. That's 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 the part right yeah. there that you're not alone because entrepreneurship then, is a yeah. very lonely thing. Isolated oh, is. and people that are not afraid mm. to say, "I feel you. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what that feels like. I've been there. Let me help." Yeah, you know because when we first started, we didn't have that. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. You know we didn't have people to step in and be like, "I, I understand." They were more to themselves, like, "You go through it on your right. own." Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's been dope. And dope. Mm -hmm. Please let our viewers and our listeners know, Bonnie and Vyrie, how do they connect with you, uh, use your services, all of the things. 
Sure. B so, is first. Oh, go ahead. B. Yes. You said B. B. Or B. B. Oh, B. Listen. <laughs> too much. Too 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 close. I mean. Y'all are Kendrick Spears. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, if now you, I promise you, I cannot take you, this. Yes. Answer. Take, 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 <laughs> Because if you do, <laughs> then I'm gonna know you got some something with you. You I inside people's you, heads. This cannot be duplicated. Listen, so if, <laughs> so if you are um, in business and you're looking for someone to tell your story, and to, um, if you're looking to get to that next level, but people don't know that you're at that next level yet. Then you need to then you need to hit mm-hmm. D2D Creative up. So that's D2D Creative.com at D2D Creative on Instagram. And if you are, um, you know, I, I, we 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 take care of men too, but my but my passion is women, mm-hmm. women entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. So if you are a woman that you know needs to be seen, right? All sides of you. So mom, mm-hmm. entrepreneur, it could be wife, it could be you know anything. Mm-hmm. Um, then hit us up at D2D Focus, D2Dfocus.com for a branding session. Um, and that's when we use the best of, you know, this 11 years of experience with branding businesses to brand the individual, in, you know, behind the business. Yeah. So. I love it. The woman behind the business. Mm-hmm. I love it. So you can hit me at. <laughs> <laughs> I am Viri on Instagram, Facebook. Um, my website is www.vyriebrandon.com. And you come to me when you are at any stage in your life, mm. right? You want to see something different. Mm. If you want to okay. see something different, you want to come to me. Because for me, it's about being whole. It's about the whole woman, mm. right? And so um, I focus on widows you know, helping them bounce back, letting them know that it's not, all isn't lost. All isn't lost. There is, we talked about it earlier, there is sunshine on the other side of rain. The sun will always come out. It doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. The sun, it's guaranteed to come out because that's how the earth was created, right? And so I am in the business of transforming lives. You know, women, men, but as you said, women is a passion for me. Mm -hmm. Young women, older women, teenagers, because they're in that discovery Mm -hmm. stage, right? And then older women in the Mm -hmm. sense of maybe I'm too old, I can't really fulfill what I am designed to do, what I'm born to do. Mm -hmm. No, you are. If you're still breathing, Mm -hmm. you still have purpose. Mm And if God put it on you it's at there. 50, 60, 70, it's there. It's there. It's your responsibility That's to bring it. it out. It's no one else's responsibility. Ooh, yeah. we. I am just so filled. And I really hope that these last two weeks of episodes um, speak directly to you women. Now, I think when I, so when I rebranded this show, I was very intentional about we will not only talk to women. Mm-hmm. Um, in the last, the few episodes before then, there were two episodes on a, a male celebrity chef. Like, I do believe that we can learn from men and women. I know that I have one of my best friends is a man. He's also my business mentor. And so, but this month specifically is about us. And so to have this conversation with you ladies over Black Girl Magic Rosé um, just feels so good. And I think my closing words for this one, because, you know, your girl going to have all the words is fear always cancels faith. And I think women, even if men feel fear, they typically don't pay attention to it. They're gonna, their confidence allows them to press forward. But women, we, we often internalize that fear and we let that fear override the faith that we're supposed to have. Um, and so, I, no lie, this text came to me while we were having a conversation Um, And so I just want to leave on this note. Fear is powerful enough to trick your mind into believing that you can't versus you won't. Because there's a difference between I can't versus I won't. Can't is letting the external factors bother you versus you won't is understanding that you're the one stopping you. It's internal. Fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. When you think about it, it's really the silliest thing being afraid of something that hasn't even happened yet, especially when real evidence of success exists. 
you know that person getting the results you want, the real evidence. Mm -hmm. And so let's stop, um, not stop, let's put more effort into faith, mm -hmm. into knowing what God is telling us, into trusting our tribe who been saying, girl, you should have been did mm -hmm. that, right? Let's just put more effort into that and less effort into what we think is we can't do because really it's just what you ain't trying to do. Right. So cheers. Happy okay. Women's History Month. Happy Thank you, ladies. It's been amazing. Blank, blank, blank. It's been great. Mm -hmm. um, God is good. Okay. Yeah. As we sip this wine. All the time. <laughs> All the time. God, God is good. good. Make sure you subscribe. Link to Bonnie and Vyrie. All the links are in the show notes. I'm so happy you're here. We will see you next week because we're keeping it consistent. Yes. And um, if you're a male watching this, I want you to take a minute and pull out your phone and call a woman who means the world to you and tell them how amazing they are. Mm, that's how good. about that? Okay. See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Babe, are you calling me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now y'all, don't forget to connect with Shades of Content on Instagram at Shades of Content and with me, Patrice Camo, at Patrice Camo. And also be sure to rate this show, leave a review and subscribe because that's actually the only way that we're gonna grow. I'll see you next week.